Strange place to keep furniture. Especially something that large. What on earth is that a photo of? Well, it's probably a painting. Okay. Well, what's this? Interesting. Random boot. Cannot see anything in here. So what I need is a reshade filter where it's just like a, a flashlight filter. <laughs> there's a gas stove down here. Well, at the very least, if there's any food that hasn't gone bad, you're and there's actually gas in that, you won't starve. Because I, I think I saw. Oh, there's a bucket. You could cook in the bucket. And if you're really hard up, you can cook the food right in the cans. Broken saw. Okay, this isn't going to go well. I mean, there's blood on this. Sounds like someone's trying to get out of there. Or something. All right, so what? We turn around and nothing? Huh. Well, they did miss an opportunity, but what on earth is that? I mean, I assume it's supposed to be a pile of metal, but metal what? So we came down here and there's there's nothing. Oh, never mind. Well, so much for a missed opportunity. Did someone crash a truck into the building or something? It kind of looks like you could crawl that way. Something tells me it's probably not worth it, though. Oh, somebody knocked down the deer. Broken antler. I think someone just ran away. Knocked the owl over, too. Fox is still standing. What is that? Got some weird paintings in here. That's it, Ethan. Crawl through the blood. Looks fairly fresh. What did all this? Well, it could have just been Chris having a bad day, but something tells me that's probably not the case. Okay, so did this mess expose anything new that we haven't looked at yet? My guess is probably not. But he opened this, right? Yeah. So, whoever did this, where did it come from? Because of this burst out, not in. So, what the hell happened? Well, Ethan did leave the door open, so maybe it came in that way and just knocked everything over. I assume we're on the, uh, the trail of Chris here. We're going to find him eventually. Should I call him Fake Chris or Discount Chris? <gasps> Don't know what that is. It looks like some rope wrapped around the end of a branch. Or twig or whatever. 
Seems a little long to be a twig, though. Where the hell am I? Hmm. Interesting. My stream preview has been dead for God knows how long. I hope this stream is actually streaming. Oh yes, fly towards the ominous castle in the distance. Yeah, I have no idea how long they were in that van. So there's no way to tell how far they traveled. So Ethan could legitimately have no clue where he is. I kind of wonder just how difficult it would be to see any detail if I didn't have reshade. It's kind of hard to tell for certain because I have the temporal anti-aliasing disabled. It'll be even harder for you guys to tell because the compression applied to the video so that you can watch it adds a ton of blur. That horse has seen better days. This is somebody's pants. Kind of looks like it. Snowy pants. Well, there's your pan, Ethan. Cook some food now. Something tells me that this is not where all the blood came from. It's got a huge chunk out of its neck. Well, I don't mean the blood here. I mean the blood up at that cabin. I never really saw where that blood came from. Hmm. More garlic. Lots of eggs. Garlic doesn't seem to have protected anyone, though. You know? It's out here. A road? Okay. Oh, we can kind of run now. Interesting. Maybe, maybe they're out. The door didn't want to close at first. I, I don't think they're out. I don't think any leaving was voluntary. Not when there's a giant chunk out of their door frame, including brick. Something ripped the brick apart. Okay, an easy to pick lock. So we have different difficulties of locks. Stoop of some sort. Aw, oh, somebody broke the dish. Surprisingly high quality. Makes me wonder why game developers layer things with copious amounts of blur after they put this much work into the detail. I really wish you guys could see the game the way I'm seeing it, without all the compression. Is that the symbol again? Well, not a symbol, a seal. I wonder if people put it in their houses to, like, it ward off evil or something. Well, I'm assuming all that blood and damage means that somebody probably died here. Or was it? Sure ripped that couch apart. And right through the cushions. Doesn't seem to be anything I can interact with in here. Guess I might as well move on. Just wasting time. Oh, is that a body? Is that the horse? Did, did something just drag the horse away? Whatever it was, it moved fast. Of course, there's a vehicle blocking the route. No. I don't think it would be possible to push that over with the fence in the way. You'd have to take the fence down. And honestly, I don't know how you'd push it over after that. Maybe, maybe tie something to a tree and try to pull. You need pulleys or, or something. And honestly, if, if you're doing it as just one person, you probably need to put pressure on both sides. Pull on one side and push on the other with a lever or something. 
I honestly don't know if one person could even flip a vehicle. What is this? Goat's heads? Why are there goat's heads hanging from the trees? This was running whenever calamity befell this town happened. Nice 1950s tractor. What happened? You know, if I showed this to my father, he might be able to tell me what brand of tractor this is. That is a very nasty looking goat's head. Well, that was the well. Is there anything worth seeing down here? So a street sign. Graveyard, workshop, and ceremony site. It's got yellow paint on it for some reason. Well, we can't go to the graveyard or the ceremony site. Look at that weird clicking. Oh, is it this? It's a PA system. I have to assume that that's probably not going to be movable. I wonder if I went the right way or the wrong way. I wonder if it matters. Excuse you, Branch. People hang their pots out here? Seems like a strange place to put them. Okay, well, we can't go that way. We can't go through that gate either. So that leaves just the open door, I think. What does this say? Locked due to missing homeowner. What homeowner around here is missing? What is this? The front half of a tractor? Or the front third of a tractor? No, this is the back. This is the back of the tractor. Okay. It's just, it looks so weird. With that tarp on it. It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, I had a feeling it was locked. Would that be on the key? That golden whatever that is? A couple of birds in there. Chickens. Actually, one of them might be a rooster. That white one looks like a rooster. What do we have here? Nothing. Nothing. What on earth is that? That's strange. This some kind of shrine or something? Or not a shrine, but a place to burn offerings. Would that be uh an altar would be a place to burn offerings. Normally you would put those on top of the altar though and not inside of it, I think. So maybe this is just a... It'd be weird to have this outside though, if this is just a, it's a chimney though. So this obviously was supposed to be inside of a house. Why on earth would it be outside? Still got that flashlight, Ethan? Not that it was worth anything. Let's close this. There we go. Oh, paint. Some force could break it. Hello? Shit! Oh. <laughs> something fell over. An awning or something? Okay, so that's like a block. Got it. He had a block in the last game too, didn't he? Honestly, I would not like to block like this. All right. Well, that's better than nothing, Ethan.
Ah, first aid. Inventory. Oh. Oh, it's kind of like Deus Ex. Well, the newer Deus Ex games. I don't think the old ones had an inventory like that. Although I really don't remember the inventory system in the old ones. Somebody messing with me. Did they just run out of the house? Some kind of soup? It's a very creaky home. Okay, so we just look at it. I was waiting for him to grab the ladle and move it around to see what it was. More garlic. All this garlic. The town is still dead. Okay, animals. Like. <clears throat> that animal. What the hell? Looks like somebody cut the top of something's head off. It's left the rest. I've got two of them up there. What's that from? Granted, I guess that doesn't really look familiar either. That jawbone looks kind of weird. Well, at least there's not a couch covered in blood this time. Yet. Well, only one way to go. No, no! Friendly! Friendly! Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road and... What's going on? I... Oh, no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? Do you have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? <laughs> you could see its hand. So I can spare. Take it! Huh? Take it, Nick. Come on, Ethan. Help me without them. <laughs> Don't waste your ammo. Are you listening? Hey! What the? You don't want to stand there, Ethan. You're getting in a shower there. How is Ethan going to survive when the other guy didn't? Dead body? Wait, there's more. I just found out where all the people went. Why is this the guy he checks? Jesus Christ. What the hell is wrong with this place? Oh, something dead ahead. Ethan, the gun would be advisable. Especially right now. How does Ethan keep losing extremities? What the fuck was that? Gun, Ethan? Gun? No. bolts does it take? Quite a few. These guys do not move in a predictable pattern. There's the knife. What the hell? 
Okay, this isn't like uh, previous Resident Evil, so we have to knife the crap out of them when they go down. There we go. So we only have 11 shots left. That is not good. Please tell me that the guy's shotgun is in here. That's not a good sound. Now there's some shells. So very small for shotgun shells. I mean, those are tiny. Very tiny. I don't even think that would be 410. Opal cutter's nice. Oh, really? Wow, they really ditched the old-fashioned inventory system, didn't they? I approve, to be honest. The old-fashioned inventory system sucked. Okay. Well, there's probably nothing in here for me. I mean, it would be nice if I could grab the shotgun shells, but it doesn't look like the game's going to allow that. Okay, this is probably my exit. Kind of funny how things move when he gets close to them. Chem fluid, okay. So I can craft things with that. Okay, so for first aid, I would need an herb and a chem fluid. For handgun ammo, I would need gunpowder and rusted scrap. You need a little more than that in real life. I always goes directly to inventory. Okay, there's probably separate keybinds for the other menus. Some very bloody trash. Now, these trash bags might actually be more detailed than the ones in Half-Life Alex. Some herb. So Ethan just had his hand ripped apart. Could we do anything about that? I already did that game. Oh, here we go. Yeah, he's missing most of two fingers and a chunk out of the side of his hand, which means he's missing bone. And he's just walking around as if nothing was wrong. Can we see his health? This is his health. I assume at some future point, he's gonna have something he can put on that hand. Is this some kind of barrel? Very strange looking. Yeah, I guess that is a barrel. Hmm. Can we sneak out of town this way? No. Actually, it does look like there's something over there. But we definitely can't go that way. That's not a good sound either. Is that another one of those speakers? I think it is. Actually, it could be a record on a turntable. Spinning awfully fast, though.
Oh, it's a radio. I don't recall analog radio sounding like that. There we go. These doors are kind of cantankerous. A lot of moisture on this floor. Okay, goo coming down from the ceiling is not a good sign. Yeah, that moisture is kind of reddish. Okay. Well, that's something at least. But these things have demonstrated that they can come in a house whenever they want to. Step on the side, Ethan. It's not that hard to get up a broken stair, especially one like that. Oh, that's a bird. So something was killing birds again. I will take the ammo. Get out of here. Cut your hand off. More chem fluid. Oh, it's a dead body. Okay. That actually looks like a person. Can we go out here? Yeah, that looks like a person. Is this a zombie attack? Okay, well, we got some gunpowder. I hope they settle down because I don't have enough ammo to kill all of them. Is it over? <laughs> it's never over, Ethan. He's pushing on that with the torn apart hand. Survivors out there, come to my to Louisa's house near the fields. Survivors. I think that's where I came from. Oh, yeah, there is one up there. So if I want to go for that crate, I probably got to kill. Oh, there's one over there as well. And there's one there. Am I going to have to fight my way through? Doesn't look like I can get in there. I don't have enough ammo to fight them all. Oh, there's two this way. There's one that way. Oh, what the hell do I do? I have a slight problem with ammo here. Unless I can get them to go away somehow, I'm pretty much screwed. I don't think I can backtrack. I don't think I can. Can I? Uh, no, I cannot. Okay. Well, I guess I have to pick a direction and stick with it then. How did I get in here? It was from the other side of this house, right? Yeah, there's one right there. Yeah, I can shoot it, but what good is that going to do me? 
I'm gonna have to learn to... Why can't I pick that up? I'm gonna have to learn to kill them with melee attacks. I assume I can't save whenever I want. That's correct. Okay. Well. Oh. This one disappeared. So what, if you just sit there and wait long enough, they eventually go away? That's interesting. Or was it because I backtracked? Did it disappear because I backtracked? I don't even hear them anymore. Ah. Oh, good ammo. Let's try to get inside quickly. Great. Down we go. 